Dave Xroth here, WXYZ.com. Lots to talk about weather-wise. you got to do the whole smoke detector batteries and all that stuff, too, once we get to the weekend. And by the weekend, you'll be looking for an extra blanket. Uh, here's a little fall color report, probably the last one we're going to give you. Peak color right around here nearest the lakes. That's the idea. Most of the state is past peak. Of course, a lot of the leaves are falling with the breeze we've had lately. Uh, but the best color is wrapped way south of us uh, along the Ohio border and then nearest the lakes where the water has been keeping the uh, temperatures just a little bit warmer there. All right, let's look at future cast now. We're going to roll this along. Through tonight, we're okay. There could be a shower or a couple sprinkles, a little drizzle, but not an issue overall, nothing organized. Here's 8 o'clock Thursday evening. Maybe a little shower tries to get through, but it's certainly more interesting Thursday night into Friday morning. That should all be rain. You notice, though, the colors are changing on the northern part of the state. Probably get some snow to start mixing in in those areas across the UP, north and lower. Now we get into Friday evening, that's trick-or-treat time, Halloween, and that will be cold and breezy at least. It looks like there's a pretty good chance for some showers here, and a couple of snowflakes might be mixed in with the raindrops, just so you know. Here's your trick-or-treat forecast now as we roll along here through Friday evening. Uh, we're always kind of focusing on that 6 o'clock-ish, 7 o'clock-ish time frame, maybe 5 p.m. as well for the younger kids. Cold and breezy for everybody, creepy showers are likely to, and again, yes, a few snowflakes are possible. Temperatures right around 40 degrees. Everybody's got to be bundled up. All right, your forecast for tonight, down to 36. A lot of clouds around this evening. Maybe a sprinkle, maybe a shower that moves through quickly here. And then the clouds break up late overnight tonight. There's a pretty good breeze this evening. That lets up some, too. And wind's not so much an issue tomorrow, but the clouds roll back in here. So if you do see a little sun here and there tomorrow, you know, best it would be in the morning hours early, and then the clouds take over, and we get to 50. That's not much, but that's better than what's going on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Highs in the 40s. Lows from 40 on Friday to 28 by Sunday morning. And, of course, Saturday night slash Sunday morning, you got to change your clocks back an hour. You get an extra sleep, and you also got to change those batteries on the smoke detectors. Tuesday next week is voting day. Told you there's a lot going on.